So here we have the Nissan Juke Automatic on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, you'll see we've got plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then this tray section lifts up to give you even more space. You can remove this tray completely should you wish to. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get full leather seats. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the top, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 14,058. We've also got the fuel gauge and cooling temperature gauge in that section. And at the bottom of that middle section, you can see it's highlighting P for park. So it'll tell you what gear this car is in, in that bit there. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the right hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter and on the left hand side we have stereo and phone controls just here the phone controls can only be used after such time as you've paired up the phone and that is done over on the central screen here so press the phone button and then use the touch screen to pair new device we're not going to do that right now when it comes to the radio in this car we have dab fm and am radio as you can see if you want to listen to your own music, you can do that via the CD player, the USB input, the auxiliary input, and you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. This car's also got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works. It's accessed just here, but how that works, uh, you can find that on our website and also on our YouTube channel. And on top of that, we have a 360 parking camera. So on the left-hand side, we have a bird's eye view image of the car, exactly where it is right now. And then we have a reverse camera image on the right-hand side. If we pop it back into park and press the camera button, we get a bird's eye view image and a front facing camera or the front facing camera and the front passenger side wheel as well. So uh, it does make it very easy to park with all of those cameras. Below that, we have the climate control. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed, the direction of the airflow, hit that button to turn the air conditioning on and off again, of course, or push this one in and you'll put it on auto. The car will then take over the uh, fan speed, as you can see, and it will take over the direction of the air. To override that, just readjust the fans and put it back on whatever setting you want it on. This screen also doubles up as the driver mode screen, so you can see all the options have now changed. You can have the car in normal, sport, or eco. Whatever mode you put it in, you're affecting the engine, the gearbox, the steering, and the climate control. Below that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, as well as the USB and auxiliary inputs, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, and then underneath the central armrest, we have driver and passenger heated seats. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.